Thank you, Warren Marcus and the Flaming, for becoming my patron. Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis Wang. I have an issue with my Sonic Mini 8K. I think I found a flaw with the anti-aliasing. Now, this may not be a real concern for everyone because not everyone needs anti-aliasing and some are even against it. But anti-aliasing is necessary for my work and I have helped several other users troubleshoot or fine-tuning their Sonic Mini 8K and they also noticed the flaw with the anti-aliasing. So first I check the gray scaling and it print correctly compared to my other printer that is not able to do anti-aliasing and this is a comparison to show what a bad grayscaling look like now this means Sonic Mini 8K is capable to do a correct grayscaling and has the anti-aliasing function works but what I'm about to show you the flaw is the anti-aliasing doesn't work properly on every surface that is facing x-axis. So I prepared these two models here, both facing x and y-axis. This is the x, eh, sorry, I mean the y and the x-axis. Let's have a close-up look. And this is how I orient the object for printing. Now this is printed on Sonic Mini 8K. This is facing Y axis. The surface is smooth, no fox at all. And this one here facing X axis and you could see the fox holes. And this is a ring model. This is facing Y axis. The surface is smooth. And this is facing X axis. You could see the fox lines here. And for comparison, on the left is printed with Sonic Mini 8K and on the right with Mighty 8K. Now first let us check both facing Y-axis, smooth and clean, no voxels. And here facing the X-axis, you could clearly tell the difference. The one printed with Sonic Mini 8K still showing voxels and the one with Mighty 8K clean and no voxel at all. And here's another comparison with the ring model on the left Mini 8K, on the right Mighty 8K. And this is what I'm showing, both facing Y-axis, clean and no voxel. And here's facing X-axis. This is with Mini 8K, you could see the voxels. And this is with Mighty 8K, smooth and clean. To other Sonic Mini 8K user, do you experience the same issue? Kindly share in the comment section. And if you haven't already, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check out my Patreon link in video description. Now, thinking that the anti-aliasing on all surface that is facing x-axis is not working properly, I'm thinking to minimize the surface area that is facing X axis. So this is how I suggest to orient your object. You put it 45 degrees on the Z axis to minimize the surface area on X axis. This is the print result on this MDR model that I always use to test anti-aliasing. The surface is smooth. No voxels because I oriented 45 degrees on the Z axis. And for the ring model here is also the same, smooth and no voxel at all. But like I previously said, this troubleshoot trick may not work on all shape, especially something like sphere or cylinder because you cannot minimize the surface area because it has the same surface area across all axes. Now here's another example. I print this Batman head sculpt with the face facing x-axis and this is a very big surface area so you could see the trace of the voxels. So I print this another one. I orient it at 45 degree on the z-axis to minimize the surface area 
but as you can see there's still a very small amount of voxel but this is much acceptable compared to this big voxels here now like i previously mentioned it may not work on all shape but at least i could minimize the voxels on my printed object and everything is printed looking very good without big or ugly voxels at all this is very unique because usually regarding entilizing it's simply work or not working and on mini 8k the entilizing not working only toward the surface facing x axis hopefully frozen engineer get to watch this video and finally understand the issue because i already confirmed with several users that need entilizing with their work they have the same issue now looking back at this grayscale test print model, it printed very well, so I believe this issue can be permanently fixed, but it is completely beyond my capabilities, so please frozen engineer, if you watch this video, please fix this issue. Now what do you guys think about this flaw with frozen sonic mini 8k this could be an interesting discussion let me know your thought in the comment section thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video